It is very nice to have you back with us, folks. Tonight's video will be on portrait instead of landscape. The idea is to show you the importance of having lines in your chart and keeping lines in the chart. And this will be done on the portrait side because I'll show you in a second how it's done. Um, today we played uh, Tesla. This is uh, the Tesla morning. You all see that there was a big gap up and then we started tanking. I was looking at um, the resistance just before the end of the day. This was pretty much my target for the gap down. And if you see further, it was pretty much merging with, well, if you see the high of the previous day, just before that big dump, uh, it was also with the 200 EMA. This is what I was um, looking for to get in. And actually, this is where my first entry was. It kept down to go further. And when it does that, you have to look at where it is going. And I've shown you that a few times. But this time, I'll show you how you have to put lines in the chart. Sometimes I shoot targets out and say it's going to go to probably this and this and such and such. And how this is done is to have lines. You'll see that these lines act as magnets eventually. So looking back, you see that, you know, you have two spikes and then a bottom. You see that there is a support pre-market. So I'll show you a line and you look back, there's a drop. Without lines, you don't see much. But this is new drawing price level. See, this line here is pretty much, let's start with that, okay? Where we see support and then it becomes resistance. And I'll see down here. It went a little further a few days back. It became good support uh, just under and became resistance. It didn't quite want to go through here and then it went through. It came down on just past it and it bounced right off. So you know that this line, no matter what happens, is going to have some sort of either support or resistance and see what it did this morning it's pretty much bang on right so this line was where we alerted the um, average down or in fact i added because i was pretty very bear, uh, bullish on the on the day for for tesla um you keep this line in because whatever happens whenever we get a drop back to this line something's going to happen it's going to either bounce on it or at least consolidate and then move further down. However, something is going to ha happen on this line. Let me show you on another play. Let's say, let's, let's talk about Facebook we played yesterday, right? We'll do the same thing. What happened yesterday was we had, this was the act, price action yesterday. It came down to one line, another one, and let's do this. Let's do um, new drawing, price level, and around this this line here is where we all agree that came down bounced on it came down very close to it and then bounced on it and took off at the end of the day what happened this morning went through it but pretty much bounced on it right and it took off after that so you leave this line here something's going to happen you know this line is going to be used again for either support or resistance now this works i'm telling you let's do let's say amazon right let's say amazon next um amazon let's go back a little further right do the one hour see this line here see what happened I'm going to show you the line. New drawing, price level. See this line here? It was resistance and then it became, it just took off as soon as it broke above it. So this line 
Now, let's go back to the five minute and you'll see what happened yesterday and today. Yesterday it was support and then it became resistance and as soon as it broke through it, see what happened this morning and it came down right on it. This is a new line we put in based on something that happened quite a while ago, but you see that it used to be resistance. Now it's acting as support. So if you leave this line in your chart, every time you see Tesla, uh, sorry, Amazon coming down to this line, you know something's going to happen. Um, let's move to something else. Let's say SQ. SQ, I'm going to do the same thing on a one hour chart, looking at the whole thing. And, you know, it's, it's a little erratic. Um, SQ because it you know has spikes all the time but if you look at the tops there's a common denominator you can find here and you know you look at this guy here um, it went through it didn't want to go further than this guy and then pretty much here and then pretty much here's the same thing here's the same thing so let's you know, we're pretty much right there, right? It's pretty much a common denominator. It went a little higher at the, at the beginning and then twice it tried and then it started going down, right? And now let's move to the five minute and see today what happened. Same line that I showed you. So, oh man, this is pretty close, right? So SQ was attracted to this line as a magnet. Now, I showed you before on Tesla, Amazon, and Facebook how the support was good. You can draw the same lines, and this will be resistance. Old resistance will become old resistance again. Now, let's do another one. Um, this morning we called in chat Apple to be... Um, to be bullish and it would be the barometer for the day uh, we weren't too far from the truth on this one um, if you see this top here let's me let me go back to lines in the chart price level see how there's a top it went through came down came down on support so you know that this line Something's going to happen to this line, right? We all agree that it went a little further, but then it came down on it and bounced and down on it, bounced and then through it. Um, this line, we called, it's possible that Apple was going to go to 147, and this is why we called it, if you look at today, it went like a magnet right on it so this is very important support resistance is price levels are key to exactly where we're going because this is where buyers and sellers will change hands will exchange the the, the bag that they have one's going to buy it then the other guy is going to sell it but it's overtaken by the other guys. So these points need to be known ahead of time for your entries and for your exits. So we've shown you the support lines that you can draw, the resistance lines that you can draw, and all of them will be used again and again, and you leave them in your charts forever, and they'll be used even like Tesla after the split, they were still using the same lines, and I figure that NVIDIA uh, was going to probably use the same lines after they split. So I hope this helps, and I'm sorry for putting you on the, um, on the um, portrait side, but I'm sure you get the idea of how to put lines in your chart, and I hope you guys will, um, will have tons of lines in your charts from now on. Take care, folks.